Okay, here we have a concrete post-tension slab being constructed. Pretty far along in the process. You'll notice wood framing around the perimeter. Uh, this forms the shape of the home. The trenching you see around the perimeter will form the exterior grade beam. The exterior grade beam is what you see uh, at dirt level when you walk around a home that has a slab foundation. The red cables you see are the post-tension cables. Tension is applied to those during the drying process. This adds strength and integrity to the concrete and thus the slab. Here we're focusing in on a trench. Uh, you'll notice multiple trenches trenched throughout the interior of the home. Once filled with concrete, these will form the interior grade beams. The home has a perimeter grade beam as well as interior grade beams. This entire area will ultimately be covered with concrete. Uh, the plastic areas will result in around a four inch thick slab but where the concrete uh, goes down into the trenched areas will of course form your beams and that would be anywhere from 18 to 24 inches thick. The interior grade beams are very important in regards to providing stability and limit movement. The deeper the better. The purpose of the plastic is to provide a moisture barrier um, it prevents the underground moisture from coming into contact with the uh, concrete slab. Uh, concrete will deteriorate and not last uh, nearly as long if it comes in contact with uh, moisture. So the barrier is installed. The majority of foundation repairs are done on the perimeter of a home. However, occasionally we need to come inside uh, the house and do interior pier work. When we do that, what we're looking for is these interior grade beams. So often you'll end up with a repair plan from either a contractor or an engineer showing you where the interior piers are going to go. Um, however, at the time of installation, the location needs to be moved. This is due to locating these interior grade beams and based on the location of the beams, that will determine where the piers need to be located. Unfortunately, it we often find insufficient grade beams on homes. If we find a, you know, a grade beam that I would say is 12 inches or less, it dramatically uh, reduces the likelihood of getting the house level um, to the extent we had hoped. A thin grade beam is unable to withstand the uh, pressure that needs to be applied in order to get lift um, and severe cracking of the slab could occur if you attempt to jack and lift on an insufficient grade beam. Again you'll notice the waffle shape. This house has nice deep beams uh, and quite a few of them. And this will help uh, the stability of this foundation. 